Hey, what up everyone? I'm Cool, and this is Gems of War. And today I'm going to be going over the first five teams you should get in the game in order from level 0 to like level 1000 or something like that. I'm going to explain how to get the troops, how to get the weapons, and all that good stuff. So let's start with team number one. This will be the first team you'll get in the game. Uh, let's go use it. So the first team you want to get in the game is a goblin team. Um, you get war coins at the beginning of the game for free. So you're going to want to take those war coins and go to the shop. Go to war bands and buy the goblin gang. Goblin gang is really good for early in the game. Because they give you free coins and you can just go buy it. And now you have goblins. And goblins are really good for beginners because they have extra turns on them. And are just awesome until you get these other teams I'm going to show you. So anyway, I have Mountain Crusher, Goblin Shaman, Goblin Rocket, Hob Goblin, Titan Class, and... Just use the banner that they give you. I have other banners because I'm later in the game. But um, these are the goblins you're going to get. And if they don't give you these exact goblins, just use whatever they give you. But use Mountain Crusher. You get this with Mastery. Mastery is the colors you get to pick after you level up. So you're going to want to pick brown until you get Mountain Crusher. So here's your Mountain Crusher. You're going to get this really early. If you don't have it, you can use any other weapon. But um, yeah, first team I'd recommend using in the game is Goblin, the Goblin Gang. And you can use this to get through all the quest lines and everything and get the second team. Alright, so we'll match purple. We got up our Mountain Crusher early. That's good. Let's cast that. That gets up everybody else. Then every single goblin has an extra turn. So let's go um, Hobgoblin since he's up. He does damage. Boom, boom. Cast our Goblin Shaman because it has an extra turn on it. Hopefully it gets another goblin up. Bang, they're dead. And you can use this team just to complete all your quests and to get the second team. So yeah, the first team I'd recommend you get in the game. Use those free war coins that you get, they give you and uh, take them to the war, war band shop and buy the Goblin Gang. And put your hero on there, start leveling up your Titan class, and get that Mountain Crusher with Brown Mastery. Alright, the second team I want you to go for in the game would be a Rowan team. So you're going to use your Goblin Gang to get all the quests done. It's going to eventually lead you to Forest of Thorns. You're going to get Rowan for free after you get the Forest of Thorns quest line done. And then you're going to make a team revolving around Rowan. So we have Golden Cog. It's a mastery weapon you get with yellow and red. So you're leveling up. You're getting a choice between two colors. Eventually you'll get Golden Cog pretty early in the game. Uh, Clockwork Sphinx is an Adana rare troop. You're going to have to get it with keys. You're going to have to get lucky. But join a good guild. That's something a beginner should definitely do is join a good guild. That'll help you get keys. Do PvP to Tier 1. That'll help you get glory keys. And the more keys you open, you'll definitely get this troop eventually. But use your Goblin Gang until you get this troop. Um, we got Leprechaun. Same thing. It's a Bright Forest uh, troop. It's an ultra rare once again. You're going to have to get keys, so PvP and being in a good guild will get you those keys, and then eventually you will get Leprechaun. You also want to get him empowered, and that's going to take uh, green and purple trait stones. You can go to the trait stone that it takes, click on it in your inventory. It will take you to the place where you can farm for those trait stones. So use your Goblin Gang until you have Leprechaun fully traded, until you have the Golden Cog with Mastery, until you get your Clockwork Sphinx, until you get your Rowan from the quest. And once you have all that stuff done, you can start using this team. So let's take it to battle. And you'll use this team for a very long time. Rowan is awesome. Iterations of this team. This is the first iteration of this team. So we got Leprechaun. He's empowered. That means he starts battle with full mana. He's going to blow up a bunch of green, get everybody else up. We're going to get him on like a Bright Forest Week with Event Keys or from being in a guild or PvP, getting those keys and opening chests. Don't use this team until you get him fully traded. Um, we're going to want to... Golden Cog's going to double the armor of Rowan. We're going to cast it on Rowan. Rowan does damage based on her armor, so she gets a huge boost if you boost up her armor. So the Golden Cog does that. So does the Clockwork Sphinx. So it really depends whether you get the Clockwork Sphinx or the Golden Cog up first. Um, we're farming in City of Thieves right now because we're trying to get a bunch of Chaos Shards for the third team. And a, a, a troop that's a different iteration of this team, an even better iteration of this team. That's the first thing we're going to get with these Chaos Shards. That's why we're here in City of Thieves on level 20. I have a video about farming the Underworld and beginner delving. I'll link it at the end of this video. Um, so yeah, let's uh, match. Uh, we need yellow, brown, purple. We need something like that. So let's just... Um, 
Let's just get uh, yellow. We'll get our golden cog. Yellow. Ah, big blue extra turn I missed, but hey, I got a second chance at it. So now you cast your golden cog on your Rowan. Cast your Rowan, and you win, and it's really fast. So you're going to do this over and over every day, three times a day on level 20. Leave your City of Thieves at level 20 and do this three times a day on level 20. Clear all the rooms. Get your qual horde quality and level to max and everything. I have a video. I'll link it at the end. And we're going to do this three times a day every day. Get a bunch of chaos shards because... We're going to want to add a troop called the Mirage Queen to this team. So we're going to take Clockwork Sphinx. It's just a placeholder for the Mirage Queen. She's going to be replaced by the Mirage Queen once we do this over and over, get Chaos Shards, and take the Shards to the Sunken Fleet. Throw them at the portal. Hopefully you get the Mirage Queen. You add it onto that team. Mirage Queen will then start Rowan with half mana. So it'll be even easier to blow up the Leprechaun and get the Rowan up real quick. And just, you'll be able to clear the City of Thieves so fast once you get this team perfect. Once your Leprechaun's fully empowered, your Mirage Queen's uh, fully traded and all that. And I don't know why I'm not getting this thing. I got it on my first try, when I, the first time I tried to make this video. So you're going to have to save up some Chaos Shards. It might take a couple thousand, but it won't be too, too long. And you're going to do this three times a day, so you'll get there eventually. What the heck? Come on. Video luck here. Oh, I didn't even look that time. Cool job. Oh, come on, bro. There it is, finally. Jeez. I'll cut some of that out, I guess. But yeah, the Mirage Queen, you're going to get that eventually. You're going to add it to your team, and that'll make your Rowan team even better. So that's your goal. Your first goal, go get the Goblin Gang, get all your quests done, um, work towards your Rowan team, whether it's trading up your Leprechaun or getting the Golden Cog or whatever you need to do. Then come down here when you finally get your Rowan team fully built. You're going to come to City of Thieves, do it on level 20 every day, three times a day. Get these Chaos Shards, take them over to Sunken Fleet, and keep throwing them until you get the Mirage Queen. Then you'll add the Mirage Queen to this team here. You'll take off Clockwork Sphinx. You'll put on Mirage Queen. You'll put her on the bottom. You'll get up your, uh, you'll cast your Leprechaun. You'll get up your Golden Cog. You'll cast your Golden Cog and your Rowan. Your Rowan will blow the other team apart easily, quickly. And you'll keep doing that every day because one of the next uh, three teams I'm going to show you also needs Underworld Troops. And Underworld Troops are awesome and easy to get. And um, they're legendary. So, yeah. This would be the second team I would want you to work towards and get. Goblin Gang first, Rowan team second. Alright, the third team I'm going to want you to work towards is called King, is the King Gob Truffle team, the Truffle Shuffle. So, use your Goblin Gang to get your Rowan team. Use your Rowan team to get the Mirage Queen to make your Rowan team even better. And then use your Rowan and Mirage Queen team in City of Thieves on level 20 over and over to get two King Gob Truffles from Amnithrax in the Underworld. So you can get him just like you can get the Mirage Queen. This team is awesome. Um, you're going to use Goblin Gang to get all your quests done to get your Rowan team fully built. Then you're going to use your Rowan team for everything until you can get King Gob Truffle. And then you're going to use your King Gob Truffle team to do hard stuff that Rowan can't do, like Difficulty 12 Explore, certain factions, certain events, and stuff like that. So this is the third team I want you to build towards. It's a really awesome loopy team that can do really hard stuff because you just keep it on your turn. You keep looping, and the other the enemy doesn't get a turn. So you can do hard stuff. Um, Forest Troll is a Forest of Thorns, uh, troop. You're gonna need keys for this to get, to get this troop, so good guild, your PvP to tier 1, you'll get it eventually. Just use your Rowan team until you get Forest Troll. He's nice traded, but he doesn't have to be fully traded. King Gob Truffle, you're gonna get in the Underworld, like I said, just like you got the Mirage Queen, so you're using your Rowan team and City of Thieves on level 20 every single day, three times a day, getting Chaos Shards. And then you're going to take those Chaos Shards to Amnithrax and get two King Gob Truffles. He does not have to be fully traded, but you can if you want to. Um, and then Osha's Tome, there's many weapons you can use with this team, so you don't have to do Osha's Tome. I just think this might be the easiest one for a beginner to get, like the first one for this team that you could get. But Osha's Tome, Gob Sticker, Doomed Glaive, Doomed Club, you could even try Mountain Crusher, Essence of Evil, stuff like that. But this might be the one that you can get earliest. So let's take this to a super hard battle. This is going to be difficulty 12 explore. 
So you may not make it here until later on, but you're going to need it eventually. So we're going to uh, want to match brown or blue to get our forest troll up. There he is. So now we're going to cast our forest troll. He's going to make a ton of green. That'll get up our gob truffle. We're going to cast our gob truffle. It's going to get an extra turn. We're using Titan class. You're going to use Titan class a lot with a lot of these teams because it's the best class in the game. Uh, let's just get our Forest Troll up again. you got to get it looping before it loops. You know what I mean? Um, brown and blue, please. I guess I'll take green. Uh, brown and blue, please. I guess I'll take green. Got our Gob Truffle up again. It's not supposed to be like the fastest team ever. It's just supposed to help you do hard things that you can't do with your other teams that I'm showing you. So we're looping. We're getting extra turns. And we're just getting extra turns over and over and whittling them down. So that's how it's going to work. You're going to be able to do super hard stuff with this team that you can't do with your Rowan team. And definitely the third team I would recommend that you get in this game. If you have any questions, put them in the comments and I'll answer them. I already made a super long video of this and I'm just trying to make a shorter one here. So any questions, please put them in the comments. But this is the third team I would have you work towards in the game. All right, the fourth team I'm going to want you to work towards in the game would be a Guardian team. So we have Finesse, Triple Finesse, Nimbus Bow. So you already used your Goblin Gang, right, to get your Rowan fully fleshed out. Now you got your Rowan. You're using your Rowan fully fleshed out with the Mirage Queen to get your Gob Truffle team. Now you're covering, like, the easy parts of the game and the hard parts of the game. You're covering easy stuff with Rowan. You're covering hard stuff with King Gob Truffle. But now we need different colors. We can't just use blue and, and green for everything. So the Guardians will cover all the other colors that you need. So we got yellow here with Finesse. You got red with Ferocity. You got purple with Cunning. And the Guardians you get from Guild Seal Chests. So once again, you need to be in a good guild. That's just something you should do no matter what as soon as you can in this game. So, yeah, opening guild a sealed chests will get you the finesses and the ferocities and the cunnings. And you're also going to want to fully trait, fully trait the uh, finesses, ferocities, and all that. Because Gift of Finesse is awesome. It gives four to all skills and all Strix allies and matching four or more gems. Everybody on our team is a Strix. We're using Stormcaller class, a double yellow, purple, red banner. And it deals damage to an enemy and a random enemy. If the enemy uses yellow mana, deal double damage. If there's a storm, give six mana to all other allies. So this is the best guardian. You're going to use it in, like, yellow factions. Um, in difficulty 12 in, like, yellow kingdoms. Whenever there's a yellow restriction or a strix restriction. Um, it's just covering another color for you here. So let's go take it for a spin. Oh, the Nimbus Bow, um, it's going to be hard to get. It just comes through in the Soul Forge on, I think, Suncrest Kingdom Week. And then there's also Staff of Storms. Those are the two best weapons for this team. So just like the other teams, you're not going to use this team until you have it all the way ready to go. So you're still using Gob Truffle right now or Rowan until you get Nimbus Bow, until you get Staff of Storms, until you get Finesse fully traded. And if you need the Finesse Trait Stones, just click on them in your inventory. It will tell you where to go to get them. Or use an Orange Orb. I think Leprechaun's a really good choice for an Orange Orb early in the game. And the Guardians are a really good choice, especially Finesse. So Finesse and Leprechaun, two of the best choices to use an early Orange Orb on. All right, let's take it to... Um, I think, where are we? Let's just see where we're at. I think Wild Plains on... This probably isn't the best spot for it. We need to go to a Yellow Kingdom. So let me retreat. We need to take it to a Yellow Kingdom. Because that's where it would do its best work. So we'll go to, like, White Helm. That's a Yellow Kingdom. Hopefully it saved my team, please. Difficulty 12, once again. Or you can use them in a faction like, um... Like, um... I forget the name of the factions, but a yellow faction in the underworld would be good for finesse. Like when it's Tuesday and there's a certain faction, like La Raza's Lair, that's a good place for finesse. But match yellow, that gives us extra stats, so our magic and our damage just went up. Our attack, our durability, our armor, just watch it there. 107 uh, armor, 80 attack. Boom, 119, 192. So every time you get an extra turn... Your stats are going to go up by 12. Um, so let's get a green or purple for our Nimbus Bow. Our Nimbus Bow is going to make tons of extra turns to give us all those stats. And it makes a bunch of yellow on the board to get the Finesses up. The Finesses also give mana to the other members of the team because there's always a Storm running because we're using the Stormcaller class. 
So we'll do this extra turn, watch our damage, 82 and 85. Now it's 94 and 97. Cast this on a yellow, we do double damage to yellow. Hit them really hard. Pick another yellow, really hard. Let's finish this one off. Dead. Finish that one off. And almost there. We win. So you want to use this when there's a yellow restriction, like a faction with the, that uses yellow, a kingdom that uses yellow, an event that uses yellow, or a Strix faction. So yeah, that's the third team I would recommend that you use in this game. Guardian teams like Triple Finesse Nimbus Bow or Triple Ferocity Rage Reaver or Triple Cunning Stone Slicer. Those will cover all the colors you don't have with your Rowan and your King Gob Truffle. Since Rowan and King Gob Truffle are blue and um, green, uh, they may not be able to be used in certain situations where you need yellow, red, purple, those things. But the Guardians cover all those other colors, so... Finesse, Ferocity, Cunning, those are the three good ones. The rest of them are kind of okay. You can make teams out of them, but they're in that order. Finesse is the best, then Ferocity, then Cunning. So that's the fourth team, and uh, yeah. All right, y'all, here is the fifth team. The fifth team in order that I would recommend that you make um, from the beginning of the game. Uh, we had Goblin Gang first. We had Rowan team second. We had uh, Gob Truffle third. We had Guardian teams fourth. And now we have the gold farming team. So you're going to need gold to stay in that good guild. You're going to keep trying to get into better and better guilds. You're going to want to give to the guild tasks. That'll give you all kinds of resources. 30 people giving to those guild tasks. Giving you 30 times the resources. Um, some guilds have requirements. They they want you to give 500,000, 800,000, a million gold to stay in the guild. So you're going to need gold. So this is the fifth team I'd recommend that you uh, build towards in the game as a beginner so you can get into better and better guilds and it's just gonna make your whole account health way better to get in better and better guilds so and everybody needs gold right so we have Cedric Sparkle Sack uh, you get him from the vault there's a vault event running right now you're gonna get vault keys from doing the vault event you're gonna open your vault keys and you're gonna get Cedric you're gonna get sick of getting Cedric um, before you get Cedric, you're going to be wondering where the heck he is, and then once you get him, you're going to keep getting him, and you're going to get sick of getting him. So opening Vault Keys will get you Cedric. He has money bags, 100% extra bonus gold from battle. He's the best gold farming troop in the game. Um, that's how you get him, the Vault. Uh, Egg Thief is another one of those that you're just going to have to get with keys, or on a Dragon's Claw week with event keys. You'll get it eventually. Don't use this team until you get her. Uh, Skeleton Key is a weapon that you get from the thief class it's a free class weapon um, you just need to equip thief class and get 250 victories you'll get the skeleton key another one of note is shield of Urskaya, which you could use with your rowan team you get that from sentinel class so this is easy to get you just equip thief unlike your rowan team while you're doing the vault event and you'll get 250 victories and you'll get the skeleton key and then Greed, another one of those troops uh, like Egg Thief, like Leprechaun, like uh, Forest Troll, where you're just going to have to get lucky, get it with keys, or use event keys in the right kingdom week. This is a Cinema Mirage troop. It's only a rare, though, so it'll be easy to get. Do your PvP to Tier 1, stay in that good guild, do that stuff, and you'll get this eventually. But don't make this team until you get it and fully uh, trade it. So this is our gold farming team. This would be the fifth team I'd recommend. You don't have to use any certain class with this team. I'm doing like a... You do the uh, maze banner, I think. It would be a double green, double red banner. Or any kind of like red and green banner is fine. But um, you're going to cast greed every single time first, no matter what. And then you're going to get up your egg thief. With green and red. Your egg thief destroys a bunch of gems boosted by gold. We just boosted our gold with greed. And it has a summon on it in case you lose your Cedric. So we're going to keep casting Egg Thief now until we get our Skeleton Key up. We're done with Greed. We only need to cast him once. Now we have our Skeleton Key. It's going to get an extra turn after it does damage if it kills. It's boosted by gold. So Greed boosted that damage. Now we're going to do Egg Thief again until we get our Skeleton Key up again. And they're dead. And this is the Warrens. The Warrens is a really nice place to do gold farming with your gold farming team. Just keep it on level 20 or level 50 or something. And you can keep doing it over and over and over in, in gold farm. So you do City of Thieves to farm Chaos Shards to get troops like the Mirage Queen, King Gob Truffle, Queen Beatrix, stuff like that. Then you use your gold farming team in the Warrens to farm gold. 
Um, but yeah, that's the five teams I would recommend that you get first, that you build towards in this game as a beginner. Number one would be Goblin Gang. Use the free war coins that they give you at the beginning of the game. Take them to the shop. Go to the Warband shop. Buy the Goblin Gang. Put your hero on there with like Titan class or something. Use one of those mastery weapons you get early like Mountain Crusher, Black Manacles, anything. Mang, whatever you got. I'd prefer Mountain Crusher if you got it. Brown Mastery. Um... Then you're going to use that team to get the Rowan team. You're going to build your Rowan team. You're going to wait till it's fully built to use it. So your Rowan team with um, Leprechaun fully traded, uh, with Golden Cog, which is yellow and red mastery, um, you know, with Clockwork Sphinx, which you get with keys from PvP Tier 1 and being in a good guild, getting a good guild as soon as possible so you can make that happen. And then you're going to use that team to work towards getting the Mirage Queen by doing City of Thieves on level 20 over and over and over. I have video on that. I'll link it at the end here. And um, then you get Mirage Queen. You add that to the team. You take off Clockwork Sphinx. Now that team's even better and even faster. You fully trait your Mirage Queen. You use that again on level 20 City of Thieves over and over and over. Go get the two Gob Truffles. Now you got your third team. You're working towards your third team. You're building your third team. You get that Forest Troll with keys or Event Keys on Forest of Thorn Week. You get your two Gob Truffles with the Chaos Shards from using the Rowan team and City of Thieves. And then that Weapon, Osha's Tome, the Nexus, Gob Sticker, um, Doomed Weapons like Doomed Glaive, Doomed Club. There's lots of weapons you can use with that team. But don't use it until you got it fully built. Keep using Rowan until you fully build the King Gob Truffle team. Then you use that King Gob Truffle team to do the harder stuff. Rowan does the easy stuff. Goblet, uh... Gob Truffle does the hard stuff. You throw away your Goblin Gang. Once you got Rowan fully made, and it does, and you don't need Goblin Gang anymore, you don't. You throw away the Goblin Gang. Now you got Rowan doing easy stuff. You got your Gob Truffle team doing hard stuff. But hey, we only got green and blue. What happens when there's a yellow or a red or a purple restriction? Well, that's what the Guardians are for. So you're in a good guild. You're opening those guild seals. You're getting those Guardians. You're using Gob Truffle and Rowan to fully trait those Guardians. And then you're using Triple Finesse Nimbus Bow for yellow stuff. You're using Triple Ferocity Rage Reaver for red stuff. You're using Triple Cunning Stone Slicer for purple stuff. And then once you have all those built up, and you have your Gob Truffle built, and you have your Rowan built, then you're going to start working towards your gold farming team. So you're going to do the Vault Event with your Rowan team. You're going to get Vault Keys. You're going to keep opening Vault Keys until you get Cedric. You're going to get keys from being in a good guild and doing your Tier 1 PvP and stuff. And you're going to get Greed and Egg Thief. And then you're going to use your Thief class. You're going to equip it on your Rowan team while you're doing the Vault Event. Get 250 victories. Get the Skeleton Key. Now you have your Gold Farming team. You can do everything in the game now with these five teams. Those are the first five teams in order that I would build towards as a beginner in this game. Um, yeah. Like, share, subscribe, consider joining, it helps a lot. Tell your good about the channel, comment below. Any questions, put them in the comments. The first video I made was so long, I had to make this one shorter. So if you have any questions, please put them in the comments, I'll answer them. I'm going to link a video right now, Beginner Delving, because you're going to want to know this stuff to make some of these teams. And then I'll link my new account playthrough playlist also, because I do all this stuff from level zero, free to play. I just did it six months ago, so you'll see me doing all this stuff in live action. Peace.